I'm back again. Um, this time with another couple of products from my latest mystery bag from Gummy Pan. I've got a trail hello stamp and it's matching dye. What's this one called? A long hello. A long hello it's called. So the difficulty with something like this is getting your stamp absolutely centred on your die cut or your die cut absolutely equally surrounding the die, the stamp. So I'm just going to show you a quick way today to, to try and achieve that. I want to make a card using this background that I found in my drawer, which is a little bit of um, shaving foam, I think, with um, luscious powders mixed in and put through a stencil. So I thought this teal colour went very well with that. So I'm going to make a card with one part this uh, paper and the other part probably white. I've fancied for a, a white top this um, stencil base with that kind of going through the middle. So that's the idea. So we'll see how we get on. First things first, I want to do to show you how I how I do this. So on my piece of teal card, I'm going to just give it a bit of a wipe with my anti-static bag. Here's my stamp. I'm going to ink it up with Versamark and stamp doesn't matter which way up I do it really just going to put it here okay next thing I'm going to emboss it I've just picked out a different this is a, a sweet Dixie embossing powder mirror gold it's called so let's try this one not a very big pot but it's super super fine Let's just take a look. Some golds, I'm, I'm not so keen on. They look sort of more orangey. Quite like yellow gold. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Pop this back into the little pot. And I'll give this a, a quick whiz with the um, heat tool. There's my hello. I'm just going to cut this piece of card out. I don't need all of it. I'm just going to cut a bit out like this. I obviously can't get the whole of that through my die cutting machine. So there's my sentiment. Here's my die. Now with a solid die, you can't put that over and tell whether it's centered or not. So, what I tend to do is, from a piece of, often paper, and I think paper's the easiest thing, because you can put the whole thing through the, through the die cutting machine. So, I'm going to cut this die from the paper. So now I've got a window, a window onto my stamp. Now the thing to do is just fiddle around until you feel happy that that stamping is in the middle of the window. Got out my low tack tape because I want to make sure it stays where it is. I think that's okay there. Put a bit on the other end as well I think just to be on the safe side. Now 
if the bottom piece was a bit bigger, I wouldn't have to do it underneath. Next thing to do is to pop the die into the gap. And you can feel it's, it's in position. So, carefully through the cutting machine. Now we'll take a look. The moment of truth. There we go. And there we have the hello. Absolutely perfectly centred on our strip. Now, to make this card, what I fancy is, as I say, wait, I don't know which half I fancy at the bottom. That's quite nice with a bit of gold in, isn't it? So if I were to cut that, I'm, I could try and do both at the same time. Let's just see how we go on with this. These pieces are the full size of my card front. Eventually, I want to cut them down with my card panel die that I usually use. So any slight little bits that are not quite right can be sorted out when I come to, to cut that out. If I try and cut both of these at the same time, it's probably not going to cut through the, the white one as well, but there will be a mark on there so that I can do it without the top piece on and cut completely through. So let's just try it. I don't know. I've tried this technique this way before, but we'll see how we go on. Okay, I'm going to try and cut these two at the same time. The die that I'm using has to, of course, bisect the card completely. Let's see how we've got on. Well, it's obviously cut the, the bottom one, the, the, the coloured one. It's, it's done the top one as well. Even better. Absolutely fabulous. Now, what I want to do is to insert this one into that gap. Turn them over the other way and I'm going to join the pieces together just with a bit of sticky tape. Put this one to it as well. There we go. Make sure there's no gaps. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is use my panel here to cut it for the front. There we are. This is a really quick way of making quite a striking sort of card, really. I think that's okay. It's just a bit of help on this side here. It's because of all the layers of sellotape and the card itself. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look. Quite a nice card for a chap, really. Not too fancy. And I think the easiest thing to do would just to be put some foam tape on the back to raise this panel just slightly. My, my roll of um, foam tape is still quite large for ha ha man handling. 
on my desk. So there we go. Take off the backing. But that method of using a window to position your solid die over its matching stamp is is such a, an easy way of doing it it's, all, it's pr practically foolproof really okay okay there we are a card in moments and i think you'd agree it, it's kind of quite dramatic so hope you found a couple of things to be of interest and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.